Hello and welcome. I'm Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and today we're talking about the most incredible health food ever. I know we went through the phases of kale and blueberries and spinach being the, the health food of the day. Well, today it's turmeric and all of those are still really good foods. They're all super foods in God's design, but a new one that's on the scene for the last several years has been turmeric. The escalating health challenges that people are dealing with today has caused us to reach even deeper into the earth for health benefits from foods that we may not have had in the past. Now, of course, if you're from India, you already know all about turmeric, and actually their incidences of cancer are much lower than us in the United States. So maybe we should take note. Well, in the beginning, when God created, he said everything that he made was good. And good means excellent of its kind, valuable in estimation. So if you go back and you read the first chapter of Genesis, he creates and he says it is good. And that's what I mean. When you go back to the original writing and to the original definition of the word good, because when I say, okay, that's good, to me it's, all right, it's okay. But when God says good, it means excellent excellent of its kind, valuable in estimation. And so everything God created is good. Now, did they use turmeric in the Garden of Eden? I don't think so. That's just a personal opinion. No one can verify that because we weren't there. Yet, we, are, we do know that when Adam was kicked out of the garden, he had to toil the ground and eat from the ground. And then we have other foods that were added into his diet. So when did turmeric come into the diet of those in Israel? I don't know. Maybe you know that answer. Put it in the chat box down below. Today, turmeric is so beneficial because the escalating number of cancer is, is just skyrocketing. And people are being diagnosed with cancer no longer in stage one and two, but they are finding out I'm in stage three, I'm in stage four. And so we need to know what is going to help us to one, prevent against cancer on a daily basis, and two, help us to overcome cancer. I get emails in my inbox every day about cancer, some praying for help, and in that regard, we teach them about how to pray against these things. And two, the exclamation marks about I'm dealing with cancer and I am thriving and beating it. And those are the testimonies that we love. To thrive and to beat cancer, you're going to need food and you're going to need food that is excellent of its kind. So turmeric is going to be one of those foods that you have to have in your diet every day. Now, I've got several videos coming out about the turmeric benefits and the turmeric different, a cleansing smoothie, a turmeric drink to, de to drink every single day so you don't get a cold, you don't get the flu, and just to bring cleansing. So what are the benefits of turmeric? So I wanna share those with you today. So turmeric being a root, it has a papery covering and you can just scrape that off. You can still eat the papery covering. It's not toxic in any way, so you don't have to clean it off. Clean it off but this is a huge antioxidant powerhouse. Now, in my Treasures of Healthy Living study, there's also a DVD series to go with the study. So you can get the DVDs or the book or both, but I teach about antioxidants. I teach about free radicals. When you understand how they work, you say to yourself, okay, bring on the antioxidants, bring them on. Blueberries, turmeric, kale, they all have antioxidants. You've gotta have that vitamin C, vitamin E, to help to be the prevention for your body. Turmeric is going to have that vitamin C for you. So without vitamin C that hasn't been cooked, every time you buy orange juice thinking you're getting vitamin C, you're not, you're just getting hydration. And that's why you feel good. It's because like, oh, now I'm hydrated. <laughs> it's because you're dehydrated. The vitamin C has been cooked away. It, it doesn't withstand heat. It actually inhibits the, the effect of the vitamin C. So, but there's other benefits as well. This is a loaded powerhouse. One of the main benefits of turmeric is its anti-cancer ability. The other one is its anti-inflammation. Both inflammation and cancer can be controlled when we have foods like turmeric in our diet. So we need to pay attention to turmeric if you have any inflammation at all. Inflammation starts in the gut and then that's where healing and disease begins. So when we have gut dysbiosis, so we have irritable bowel syndrome, if we have, we get up after a meal and we just feel lousy, that's a gut inflammation that then will lead to other parts of your body and you become inflamed in your joints, in your muscles, everywhere in your body. Inflammation feeds fat. 
So if we have an overweight problem, we also have an inflammation problem. What would be a good food for that? Turmeric. Cancer has been shown, so many cancers, they're showing that they're actually very good in using turmeric to help to ward off that cancer or to reverse that cancer. So I'm gonna go back to that in a little bit. But turmeric aids in metabolism. So for people who are saying, wow, Annette, I've been doing your, your two ounces every day of that, that drink that you made, which I'm, be sure you're subscribed down below to get notified when I post that video because I have a whole team of people who have been doing that, that drink uh, for several days and even a couple weeks, and they're saying, okay, I have dropped a few pounds. Because turmeric has um, a metabolism boosting and a weight reduction property to it. It also helps you to digest proteins. Many people cannot break down proteins in their diet. So you feel like the, the meal you just have eaten, it just kind of sits there. Well, because you're not able to break it down, metabolize it as quickly as you need to. Okay, so when it comes to cancer, specifically by studies alone, turmeric is really good with breast cancer, colon cancer, prostate, pancreas, melanoma, and uh, any part of the digestive tract. Well, these are the leading cancers. Breast cancer alone is an unnecessary problem. Turmeric is going to help prevent that from coming back. We don't need to be on chemotherapy drugs the rest of our life. We need to be on turmeric the rest of our life because it will do what it's supposed to do without any side effects. Okay, turmeric is also good for diabetes in reversing diabetes, type 2 diabetes. It also, if you are helping the pancreas, so we've already talked about how turmeric is good for healing the pancreas, so pancreatic cancer. That means it's also good for healing the pancreas. So that means if you have type 1 diabetes, you can lessen your dose of necessary insulin when your pancreas gets healthier. Psoriasis. That's just an inflammation of the skin. I mean, we've got eczema, we've got psoriasis. That means something is off on the inside and it's trying to get out. Now that's an oversimplification of psoriasis, but turmeric is going to help to reverse that. It also helps with healing of your kidneys and your liver. And when those two are working optimally, you keep looking younger and you stay with lots of energy. When they get bottlenecked or when they get backlogged, it's going to show. It's going to show in your skin. It's going to show in your mental capacities, how you're able to think, how you're able to process. It's going to show because it's going to backlog. And that's what can happen to your body. Turmeric's going to help clear that out. It helps with people with vitiligo. Uh, for those who have vitiligo, I just want to say this. Don't stop working on preventing it from spreading and don't stop working on, working on healing it because the skin is a turnover organ, just as it turned over and what you, when you, you didn't have vitiligo as a teenager and now you do as an adult, it can reverse itself. Uh, many studies have proven that and then there's other people out there saying there's nothing you can do. Don't listen to them because God has created your body to heal. He says in Exodus 15, 26, for I am the Lord, the Lord your God who heals. And so listen to those words, take those words in and say, Lord, you are the Lord who heals me. Show me what foods are going to bring that healing. First of all, I'm trusting in you for the healing. Second of all, I'm going to enjoy what foods that you said are good for me to eat. Okay, it also helps with arsenic poisoning. Anytime we eat rice that hasn't been made sure there's no arsenic in it, it's a very low percentage of no arsenic being in rice, but turmeric is going to help move that along. When you have pesticides in your produce, it's going to help get rid of those pesticides. It binds it and helps you get rid of it. Turmeric is very important for those who have osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and bursitis. It is going to help to lessen that inflammation in the joints, and it's going to help you to have better movement. Now, be careful. Don't just start rubbing this on your skin because it does have a dyeing effect, so you will turn out looking orange just like the turmeric, so be careful about that. But definitely put this in, have your little, your little tonic, your two ounces of tonic that make sure you subscribe to this channel so you watch when I post that new, next video on how to make your own daily tonic just to prevent disease and never have a cold or flu again. Two ounces every morning, never have a cold or flu again. I'm going to say I guarantee it, but God's foods, I can say that. 
Also, it helps with Crohn's disease, celiac disease, gastric ulcers, because those are all developed from inflammation in the gut. We get rid of the inflammation, we, get, we are able to heal. God created your body to heal. Your cells are turning over every single moment. Now, for those of you with blood pressure issue, turmeric helps to lower blood pressure, reduces your LDL cholesterol, and reduces your triglycerides. Right there, you've got a lipid panel that's gonna make your doctor excited. And it can be used for viral infections, people who have HIV, who have Zika or Epstein-Barr. It can be used for that. It's cancer, turmeric's potential use in cancer prevention and recovery is now the subject of many intense laboratory and clinical research. They are recognizing that there's no overdosing on turmeric. Sometimes if you get too much, you say, ah, oh, I'm not really, I got my stomachs a little queasy, then you just need to ease into it. But you can use turmeric as a powder. You can just buy this online as an organic powder. You can get fresh turmeric in the grocery store. The powder is actually cheaper. And so there's some recipes where you would make your own tea, a turmeric tea. Make sure you're subscribed down below so when I can show you how to make a turmeric tea. Turmeric helps with circulation. It's going to help prevent clots. So if in the future you were given a vaccine or a shot and it created blood clots, if you're drinking my little two ounce tonic every single morning, it's gonna help prevent that. Some women have clots when they have a menstrual cycle. It's gonna help prevent that. People, women going through menopause, it's going to help ease that as well. And actually, after menopause, many women have heart attacks. And so this is gonna help ease that so you don't have clotting in your blood, that which could then signal a heart attack. Do you see why this is the new superfood? This is amazing how many benefits there are in turmeric. But remember, at the Biblical Nutritionist, we teach the Bible diet. And the Bible diet is all based on three principles. Number one, eat the foods God called good. I've already told you, good means excellent of its kind. Number two, eat the foods as close to the way he designed it. Well, this is pretty close. Now, I'm not just gonna crunch on this like a carrot. I, it's not quite the flavor I love for that, but I can add this or the powder into my smoothies every day. In fact, in our cancer prevention smoothie, we do that. We add the turmeric and the ginger into those smoothies because of its, chemo, its cancer preventative effect. So principle number two, eat it as close to the way God designed it. If you're going to choose a supplement or a powder, make sure it's from an organic turmeric. And if it's a supplement, make sure you trust the company to give you exactly what's on the label. Also, principle number three, don't let any food become an addiction. I've already told you there's no upper level dose that they say don't go above with turmeric, but I don't think you're gonna overdose or become addicted to turmeric. What I pray is you become addicted to the God who made the turmeric. And so this is very important. Now, if you wanna learn more about your health, I highly recommend starting with the Treasures of Healthy Living Bible Study. I take you from Genesis to Revelation and understanding how God created food, how he created your body, and what foods he meant for us to eat. Now, when you get that, I also recommend the Nutrition Manual. It's like an encyclopedia of all of the health topics you can imagine, plus it goes into more detail about the foods that God created. Beyond that, I just wanna say thank you for letting me serve you God's recipe for excellent health. You matter to me and your health matters too because we are to finish this race well and we are to excel still more. And so that means we need our health to do that. Get off the couch, don't be lazy, and don't just lay around and wish something would happen so you would feel better. No, you can have effect, an effect in how you feel by what you put in your body. It's been proven in many scientific studies that what we eat changes the cellular effect. Well, God's word already told you that because he says he's the Lord who heals you and he gave us food that he called good. And if it's good for him, it's good for us. So thank you for letting me share this with you.